This is LiveSync, a community developed sync solution for Obsidian, a note taking application I use extensively. While Obsidian's official sync service works well, it comes with a $4 a month subscription. It's not unreasonable, but I dislike reoccurring fees. So in this guide, I'm going to show you how to set up a local, completely free synchronization method instead. This tutorial is assuming a few things that you have an instance of true NAS running or a Docker engine that would allow you to use a YAML file, and that you have a medium amount of experience using both. Your true NAS might look a little different than mine, but the method should be generally the same through versions and stay a little bit more consistent since we're using Docker files. To get things started, we're going to go to data sets. We're going to go to our pool here. We're going to add a data set. For this example, we're just going to name it Obsidian Demo. Click save. So we have our data set here where all of the information will go. We're going to go to apps, discover apps. So we're going to hit the three little dots here and install via YAML. We're just going to name it Obsidian. Grab the YAML config. Grab in here. This right here is your database name. This is the password to your database. This is the username to your database. This is going to be the IP that Obsidian will use to connect your database. This is going to be a relative path. So whatever your server IP is, is what the local host will be. For this, it's 192.168.1.225. So it's going to be that string plus the port 5984. And the volumes down here is where your data will be stored. Mine is going to be mount pool Obsidian dim and the data set I made earlier, yours will be whatever you name this string. Everything else should stay the same outside of the password if you want to change it. Everything looks good, so we're going to click save. Should take a second to bring it up. All right, now we have our Obsidian app running. If you wanted to check the logs, you can do it here just to see what it's doing and how it's starting up. So everything should be done on this end. Now we just have to go into Obsidian and connect it. I already have an example vault set up, but we need to do a little bit of prep. We're going to go to settings, community plugins, turn them on. We're going to browse community plugins and look up live sync. Should be the first thing with a ton of downloads. Going to go ahead and install that. Going to enable. It'll pop up these dialogues here. I'm just going to click no. I want to set it up manually. I'm going to go to options and this is going to be all the settings for live sync. We just need to navigate to remote configuration and this is where we're going to put in all of our details that we had earlier. For server URI, we're going to use that IP 192.168.1.225. going to use the username we set and the password. We need our database name which was Obsidian Vault. Click apply. So after we get done putting in our credentials, we're going to go to maintenance. We're going to go down to rebuild and this will put all of the information that is currently in your vault into the database. It'll come up with this. Are you sure you want to rebuild everything? Yes. It's going to ask if you want to enable extra features. I do not. Do you want to restart Obsidian? Go ahead. It's going to ask if you want to use the doctor. I do not. It's asking if you want a notification if your database starts reaching certain sizes. I don't really need it, but you do you. And then we're good to go. So when we start typing, hello, I'm a guy. You'll see here that it is connecting with the database and sending the changes and once it is done sending the changes there will be synced across devices and you should be good to go just an additional that we have this sync here we don't need the premium sync anymore so we can go to settings core plugins look up sync and turn it off and i'll disable that thing down there we'll just have our live sync enabled all right so you're probably wondering now how do we connect those to other computers or to my phone so on and so forth we're going to go back to settings community plugins the gear setting on live sync we're going to go to the setup tab then down here we have all of the settings currently configured into obsidian so all we have to do is press copy we can enter a passphrase i'm just going to use password press ok i've got a uri copied to my clipboard now this uri is going to be this very long string you go to whatever obsidian app you're installing on a computer or a phone you'll do the same setup methods but instead of setting it up manually you'll go to the setup here and connect with setup URI. When you connect with setup URI, you're going to take this string, throw it in here, press OK, use whatever password that you set it as, press OK, and then it'll ask if you want to start importing the configurations. It'll rebuild all the files on whatever device you're setting up, and then you will be synced via your server.